My name is Helen Turek. And I'm Mari Danica. And this is Voices from the Void. And welcome back. We're going to cover the uh, news real quick today. Um, I think our first order, order of business is um, what you be doing, Brick Squad. See, why do you have to start with that one? Wait, which which Brick Squad story? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why we should start with it. I'm just gonna put it in there. Um, well, because well, because there, like I said, um, we did have an op the other day. Um, we ended up getting like 150 Hellcats together, and Goon sh- showed up. Goons and company showed up with like 300, and so we we're like, no, we're gonna die. <laughs> so we stood down, and I, uh, I don't remember if we lost the system or a station. I had other stuff to do, so I had to jump off comms as soon as they were like, stand down. It didn't really matter. You didn't want that system or station anyhow. I guess so. <laughs> but the other thing is, a very unfortunate thing happened. And and not only did it happen to my alliance, but it happened to my corporation as well. Uh, test those ingenious little mother effers had some stored APIs. And they were APIs, I assume, that were collected through uh, recruiting. Well, these individuals did not reset their limited APIs, so Tess was able to take those from that information, get their logins for their alliance forums, and Pandemonium then broke loose. So, uh, like I said, one one of the APIs used was from my was from my corp was one of my my corp mates. The guy hasn't even logged on in like months, so he's not even active right now. He's not playing, and it's just it's just wreaked all kinds of havoc. Um, but like I said, there are about five to six different APIs that were that, that they were able to get login information from and they were all different alliances i didn't get my source wasn't able to tell me which one or wouldn't tell me which one jerk but he did did get me that little piece of information so and ender capital g made sure to post it on twitter so is he your source no ender capital g is not my source i do not name names and we can talk about snitches in a minute but that's a different segment wait what now next news story (laughs) next news story we'll talk about kriva some Hoo-hoo, SBU Krista system. What's up, are motherfuckers? You, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Because you know what happens when when your SBU Krista system, NC Dot shows up, kills all your SBUs, kills <laughs> kills everyone else in the system, and then leaves. <laughs> it killed everybody. <laughs> Everybody's uh, dead, Dave. Everybody's what about, dead. What about Rimmer? What about Kachansky? Everybody's dead, Dave. Red Dwarf fans will get the joke. Others probably not. But yeah, uh, some random corp in On Guard Alliance decided to put SBUs down in Kerbis system. Uh, there was a forum post, and within moments, people were coming to Kerbis aid. And like I said, NC Dot showed up. Now, something that is worth mentioning: the system is normally Sino jammed. Um. I don't, I'm not sure how it happened. I'm not sure if NC dot subcap fleet destroyed the signer jammer or if Kriba agreed to put the signer jammer down, but NC dot was able to jump in a super cap fleet to take care of the issue. So yay, Kriba's all set and ready to go and <laughs> everything it's taken care of. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Let we've, that be a lesson to you. We've taken care of the issue. What'd you do? We killed everyone. What, what do you mean? Everyone. They killed everyone. That's all they did. They say. did. And we will link the battle report, but they killed everybody. Oh, and um, Ivy League showed up. Um, an Eve University fleet showed up. NC Doc killed them as well. <laughs> Surprise. But, uh, but yeah, co- help from all corners of Eve. And it's good to see things like that. It really is. Um, more Nullsec news. The next big grudge match. The next big Nullsec grudge match. I think uh, it's going to be Detco versus Delco. Because things are starting to get hot and heavy. I mean, you know, there was the... I give it three weeks. Is, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Eve News 24 actually has two stories about a 
bait and switch fight starter, um, Brick Squad had agreed to uh, become Freeport for Delco and Company, and were supposedly in talks with that happening, but um, pulled a little bit of a bait and switch. You think maybe they were really going to do it, found out that their membership wouldn't allow it, and just was like, totally trolling you guys, didn't you know? I don't know. I don't know, because Darius 3 is, is a notorious griefer. Mm. Ah. So I don't know. So it's 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 hard to tell. It's hard to tell if they maybe were trying to to blew up to, to Delco and company. They like to blew up to everybody else, it seems. But, um... Ooh! Burn. But, uh... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I, I totally love my lions. But, um, who knows? <laughs> who knows? That's, Stop laughing. Yeah. Stop laughing. I'm coming to terms. I'm coming to terms. Okay. Still only give it three weeks. Because, I mean, seriously, you only need to turn one, maybe two of the bigger, medium-sized alliances, and the de- the Delve Coalition falls apart. I mean, it's not going to be very hard to turn a couple of them. It's really not. Yes, but in talking to different players and different pilots, there really is a grudge. And it's not like a grudge, just a grudge on alliance, on an alliance leadership level, but like a lot of the members are just like not feeling it. They've got this last bastion mentality that, that's going on. I don't know how long that's going to last. Ooh, With no. the last bastion of non drone cluster space in Eve, because AAA is falling pretty quickly. So we're the last ones. We have to defend our space to the to the to the end. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how wait it works. One out. person goes. It just takes one of those, one or two of those alliances going. Wait a minute. How about we just join up? I mean, wouldn't that be make more sense, guys? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Speaking of, did you see that image about how the uh, they call it the CDF? The CDF coalition is like. You mean from most y- of Eve? <laughs> you mean from last week? The. Yeah, 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 it came out like Sunday, Sunday or Saturday. Let me double that check big it. poster image. Yeah, I did see that. Someone else sent me another tr- uh, troll. Let me see if I can't find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, the DCF and you. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes, that's the one, the DCF and you. The drone cluster. Well, I'm still calling them the drone cluster. But yeah, they've they've actually had some pretty good propaganda coming out of the propaganda machine. But then again, Guns and Tests are well known for that sort of thing. But and Russians too. The Russians have great have some great propaganda. Oh, and since we're talking about Russians, I guess I should mention the Russians are having a Eve beauty pageant. I saw that. Some of them chicks are actually pretty good looking. That sounded so sexist to say that. Oh Jesus Christ. I guess there's a kind of grain of salt because I'm like, how many actually play Eve? How many are like a player's sister that's like standing by the computer? But there, I, it's very hard for me to believe that only 4% of players are women. I think it's more of an admitted thing. Well, yeah. You know? I mean, most women in, in games face numerous problems. And unless they, you know, uh, want to be publicly female, they're probably just going to take it off as male and leave it at that. I have to agree with that definitely but to jump subject again i believe a counter to the whelp cane has been found uh goons and company that have been using heavy whelp cane fleets have been suffering major losses at the hands of bomb squads yeah because they don't have that much hit points so bombs (laughs) they're not real i mean that's the whole point they're just dps the glass cannon ships so hit them with any amount of damage and you do some blah 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 if you can hit them all at once pop exactly they lose that alpha strike it's it's just a bigger it's just a different kind of alpha strike i I guess bombers are going to be the new flavor of the month (laughs) everyone dust off your hound (laughs) i'm jumping on the bandwagon bandwagon woo oh let's see oh entertaining news googling like if, if you don't know how to google learn how to google because if you learn how to google you may be able to kill a titan yes the alliance good sax uh saw a leviathan in a coven pos and they were able to google the pos password bump the titan out and get the kill mail i'm to understand he actually slow boated back in and then they bumped him out again <laughs> where was his backup I'm not sure. 
I made. Could you imagine though that you're like, I made it. I made. It. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. It's tragic, tragic, tragic. And other tragedies, <laughs> which is just loose lips, loose ships. And this story is a testament to that. An MMFC was talking smack in what seems to be the Jabberlon 5 channel or one of the uh, multi-alliance channels. And a fleet of the FC he was popping off to came and took down one of their super carriers. Bam. Good job. That's kicking it up a notch. <laughs> These things do happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Your words just cost you a super carrier, sir. Would you like to lose another? He didn't want that super carrier anyway. Oh, we already used that joke. Darn. Ha! That. I win. <sighs> oh, well. You gotta cut that out. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I guess we can go on to some CSM news, which they have been very busy, it seems.